Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Wildboy789789. Today we're going to make a quick chicken soup. I don't think the video is going to be very long. Get a nice amount of water. If anything, just boil off the extra. Over some fire, of course. Then we got salt, chopped garlic, black pepper, a little bit of curry powder. I like that with the chicken. I got some dried shiitake mushrooms. These are the bomb. Any kind of any kind of anything really. We got five chicken legs with the skins and the bones, and those are going to be falling off the bones by the time we cook them. Uh, carrots. We got white onions and celery. Now it doesn't really matter if your water's hot or cold. Mine's pretty cold right now. We're going to take a good amount of garlic, enough to season all the chicken. A nice good uh, big spoonful, me thinks. And then let's see, curry powder. I don't really measure anything out. I normally do this with two hands. It's not coming out very good. There we go. So you get a little bit of yellow color in the water. Okay, that should be good. Black pepper. It's enough to get like a heavy coating over the top. And salt. It's again just enough to, like if you were salting the top. Very good. I'll wait for this to start bubbling. All right, now it's boiling. We're gonna go ahead and add the chicken. Ooh, just get your hands in there. Good Lord. I know what you're thinking, yes. We're dropping them in raw, they're gonna fully cook. That's actually how you know the soup is done when the chicken is fully cooked. already stopped boiling because these are really cold. Alright, throw that away. Good lord. Um, you don't really have to wash your hands yet because you're still touching uncooked food. We're going to try and one hand the carrots into there. Come on. There it is. Good enough. Missing one carrot. The celery, which I already opened, is proving to be a pain. Oh my god. Please open. Oh, see what you get when you ask nicely. Celery. Onion. Mushrooms. And let that do its thing for a, a long time. We're just gonna watch it to make sure it doesn't bubble over and when the chicken is cooked, the soup is done. So I went ahead and uh, washed my hands and go ahead and leave this thing uncovered because uh, it's got a lot of water. We want a lot of that to cook off. So a tip for cooking it a long time is after it starts bubbling like that, turn the flame down a little bit. 
and let it sit for a few hours. So the chicken's not really cooked yet. You can see the skin and the outside is getting cooked. And you're gonna pull these up and that's how you're gonna know when it's done. It'll start pulling away from the, the bottom there. We'll pull up completely to the fatty part. Or the, the meaty part is what I should say. We're getting there. Also, I've turned the flame back up. Don't be afraid to turn it down and up and down and up just to keep the bubbles like strong but not coming over the top, you know? You gotta get a feel for it. All right, looks about done to me. See how they're pulling off from the back end there? Let's find another one. There's two of them. It's pulling away. That's how you know it's fully cooked. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this down to almost nothing. And serve it up. Grab yourself something to drink, a spoon, some crackers, a bowl, and make sure you get some broth, some veggies, some chicken. And uh, maybe two chickens if you uh, cooked it. Enjoy.